Hey guys, welcome to the series on Microsoft Defender for Endpoint. This is part two of MDE. All the other videos, the playlist which has all the videos is in the description box. This video gives you an overview of Microsoft Defender for Endpoint. So what is MDE? It is an advanced threat protection solution. This was actually formerly called as Microsoft Defender Advanced Threat Protection, ATP. It was called this before and knowing Microsoft, it obviously changed its name. Uh, now it is called MDE, Microsoft Defender for Endpoints. It is actually designed to help organizations secure their endpoints. These endpoints can be laptops, desktops, phones, mobile devices, tablets, PCs, access points, routers, firewalls, and so on. So you can get MDE in two plans, that is Defender for Endpoint Plan 1 and Defender for Endpoint Plan 2. Like you can see in the screenshot, this is from Microsoft.com. P1 includes centralized management, next generation anti-malware, attack surface reduction, device control, endpoint firewall, network protection, web control, device-based control, Conditional access, controlled uh, folder access, APIs, SIM connectors, and application control. P2 is the bigger form, which includes P1 as well as these. That is, you get endpoint detection and response, automated investigation and remediation, vulnerability and threat management, threat intelligence, sandboxing, and access to Microsoft threat experts. So P1, P2 licensing is one way of getting Defender for uh, endpoint, but for customers who already have Microsoft 365 E3 or A3 license, then P1 is included in this. And for customers with E5 license, P2 is included in E5. So going back to the capabilities of uh, Microsoft Defender for Endpoint, it can help you prevent, detect, investigate, and respond to advanced threats. So MDE uses Endpoint behavioral sensors. So these sensors are actually built in in Windows 10. So these sensors collect and process behavioral signals from the operating system. And then the sen sensors send these signals or behavioral data to MDE. When I say MDE, this is your private isolated cloud instance of MDE, MDE that is given to you. Once this is done, it uses cloud security analytics. So here it uses big data, device learning, uh, unique Microsoft optics, enterprise cloud products, and online assets. Here what happens, the behavioral signals are translated into insights, detections, and recommended responses to advanced threats. It also uses threat intelligence. This is by Microsoft Hunters security teams and threat intelligence provided by their partners as well. So threat intelligence lets MDE to identify attacker tools, techniques, and procedures. Once these are found in the sensor data that was collected previously, alerts are generated. Now let's look at MDE core capabilities. So all of these capabilities that I mentioned now will have separate videos on them that is explained in depth. For now, just understand these are the capabilities that can be achieved by MDE. First one is vulnerability management. Like I mentioned before, this is included in the P2 plan. MDE provides a risk-based vulnerability management. This helps you in discovery, assessment, prioritization, and remediation of endpoint vulnerabilities and misconfigurations. Configurations. So vulnerability management reduces cybersecurity risk with continuous asset discovery and monitoring and then risk-based intelligent prioritization and remediation and tracking. So Defender Vulnerability Management has built-in and agentless scanners 
for continuous monitoring and detection of risk in your organization. Even when the devices are not connected to your corporate network, it uses something called as device discovery to do this. There is a separate chapter on this. I will link it in the description box how this is done. This is used for identifying unmanaged devices using the devices that have MDE on them. Once it is identified, you can onboard it to MDE and then you there will be a vulnerabilities that will be an assessment done to find out the vulnerabilities. Then it uses Microsoft's threat intelligence, breach likelihood predictions, business context and device ass assessments to prioritize the critical vulnerabilities. And it has built-in workflows for seamless remediation and tracking. So that is about vulnerability management capability of MDE. Another capability is attack surface reduction. So this is nothing but minimizing potential paths through which attackers can exploit vulnerabilities on endpoints. So this includes hardware based isolation. Let me erase this application control. That is you can control what applications are allowed to run on endpoints and this will reduce the risk of executing malicious or unauthorized software. Then it includes exploit protection, network protection. Network protection can include blocking connections to malicious domains and IP addresses. And then there is controlled folder access. That is, you can restrict access to sensitive files and folders. And then there is device control, then web protection. So you can block malicious sites. You can also block unverified file download here. And then there is ransomware protection. So these are included under attack surface reduction. The next capability is next generation protection. This includes Microsoft Defender antivirus. This uses behavior based heuristic and real time antivirus protection cloud delivered protection that is near instant detection and blocking of new and emerging threats and it also includes dedicated protection and product updates that is keeping the antivirus up to date next capability is endpoint detection and response of mde these are there to detect investigate and respond to advanced threats this also includes the advanced hunting feature this is query based threat hunting this gives you an opportunity to proactively find breaches and create custom detections next capability of mde is automated investigation and remediation. So MDE not only quickly responds to advanced attacks, but also offers automated investigation and remediation capabilities. This helps you to reduce the volume of alerts. The next feature of MDE is Microsoft Secure Scores for Devices. So this is a score for your devices. If the device's score is higher, then it means that they are more resilient to cyber threats. This actually shows you the collective security configuration state of your devices across many categories like application, operating system, network, accounts, and security controls. The next capability of MD is Microsoft Threat Experts. This is a threat hunting service. It provides proactive hunting, prioritization, and additional context and insights to the security analysts. This is in order to identify and respond to threats accurately and quickly. You can apply for this service to get targeted attack notifications and to work with experts on demand. So experts on demand is again an add-on service, okay? So these are some of the capabilities of MDE. Along with this, it also provides integration with other Microsoft solutions, like for example, MDCA, that is Microsoft Defender for Cloud Apps, 
and then MDC that is Microsoft Defender for Cloud and then Microsoft Sentinel Intune Microsoft Defender for Identity MDI Microsoft Defender for Office MDO and Skype for Business and all of these features you can see it on the Defender portal security.microsoft.com I hope this video helped you understand MDE and its capabilities please leave in the comment if you have any questions or if there is any other tool or capability that you want me to review please leave me a comment if you have any questions or if there is any other tool that you want me to make a video on please don't forget please don't forget to like subscribe and share our videos that helps us a lot thank you so much for watching i will see you again bye bye